Hello learners of all ages, my name is Mr. Montgomery, I teach 4th and 5th grade math, and today we're going to be learning about area formulas. Now, perimeter was finding the distance along the outside of a shape, but the area is trying to find the uh, contents of the middle, or the space that it takes up in the middle. And so I'm trying to find area, the formula for area is length times width, or your book says side times side. It's essentially the same thing. So I have a quadrilateral here, and it's eight foot by eight foot, meaning that this side is eight feet long and this side's eight feet long. Well, I'm gonna be multiplying these two together, and eight times eight is 64. So that would be 64 feet. And whenever we're working with area, it makes, we, we make sure that our area is something called squared, meaning that we're trying to find length and width. We're finding both dimensions. So we have to put our answer in square by using a small little number two as our exponent. Let's take a look at another example. I have another quadrilateral with right angles, possibly a rectangle, but I see that one of my sides is 16 meters, another side is seven meters. So I'm gonna be multiplying those two numbers together. 16 times seven. Seven times six is 42, carrying my four up to here. Seven times one is seven, plus four, eight, nine, 10, 11. So I have 112, I have to put my uh, meters next, we need to know what the measurement is, and I'm gonna be putting squared. So I could read this as 112 squared meters as my answer. So what happens if you have two different types of measurements, kind of like what we did with perimeter? Well, just like perimeter, we have to get both the measurements to the same style of measurement. I can't have one foot and one inch measurement. I have to have both of them either be feet or both of them be either inches. And I know that 23 does not go into feet equally. 24 does, but not 23. So it'd probably be easier to change four feet into inches. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna have four times 12 because there's 12 inches in a foot and I have four feet. So two times four is eight and four times one is four. So I could rewrite this as 48 inches. Now I can multiply my length times my width or side by side, 48 times 23. So three times eight is 24, carry my two up here. Three times four is 12, plus two, 13, 14, okay. I'm gonna cross out this three because it has nothing left to give. I also have to cross out that two that I carried and add a zero to show that this has nothing left to give. Now, two times eight is 16, carry my one up here. Two times four is eight plus one is nine. I'm gonna add 144 to 960. So it's four plus zero is four, six plus four is 10, carry the one, and nine plus one plus one is 11. And I'm going to put inches, and I'm going to put squared. So I have 1,104 squared inches. All right, my fourth grade friends, if we take a look at page 285 in our workbook, you will see that we're going to be doing practice problems number one and three. The directions say find the area of the figure. Be sure to use the correct units in your answer. So units for number one will be feet squared, and for number three would be centimeters squared. If you have any questions on how to use area formulas, please let me know when you come to class tomorrow.